Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. And if you would love to learn how I constructed this beautiful resin art jewelry box, stay tuned. And also I have a special announcement, so stay tuned to the end of the video and I will share with you my great news. Hey guys, so here is the already put together jewelry box. Now here are the molds and I showed them to you in my BB Craft haul video. And so here are the molds and I finally figured it out. So basically you need to make two of these, one for the bottom and one for the top, okay? That's how you do it. This part here, you pour it down the sides and this is, this is what you get. So this is the circle one right here. So you would pour down the sides here and then you would get this. And I used a lot of different products from um, Little Birdie. I put in some fabric uh, flowers and um, I think these, those are called sprinklets. And then in the top, I used some very pretty blue glass and I put a flower in the center. So basically you have to make two of them, okay? And then the bottom will lay down like that. So I am going to go off and make another one of these and then I am going to show you how to construct it with E600 glue. So this is the top of this one. This is gorgeous. This came out absolutely beautiful. And then I added some fake candy sprinkles in the bottom here. And again, I used um, some beautiful flowers from Little Birdie. The pigment is actually from Primal Flow. It's this go gorgeous coral reef pigment. And this is just put together with the E600 or E6000. I forget what it's called. I think it's E600. I could be wrong. But anyway, I'm going to show you. Now you can also use resin. You can mix up a little clear resin and you can attach it as well. But this is actually very easy. And let's get started with that. I'm going to go off, make the bottom, and then we are going to construct it together. I will be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back. So here again is the constructed um, resin art jewelry box. And what I did do was I added some little resin pieces that I made uh, very recently. I got these molds also from BB Craft and I made some new ones with the uh, Primal Flow Coral Reef um, Resin, uh, the Mica. And I just added these little pieces here with the E6000, not 600. Okay, so like I said, you have to make two of these. This is the top and bottom, okay? And what we're going to do is, we're going to unmold this first. So let's unmold this. Beautiful. I used some uh, white, white gold mica pigment from Primal Flow. And I got this as a gift from a fellow uh, content creator on YouTube. Uh, she has her own little shop. So this is like a cute little free gift. Um, beautiful uh, glitter. Like chunky glitter. Okay, so this is going to be our bottom. And then we're also going to add this shell to the top. I decided to change it up a little bit. Even though I have a flower here, I'm going to actually add this as well uh, instead and cover up that because you really can't see this all that well. And I'm sorry if there is noise in the background because I live in New York and there is a lot of noise. Anyway, so I'm going to take this little stick. 
I'm going to take a little bit of that E6000. I'm going to put it directly on the back of the resin art shell. Just like that. See that? Okay. And then I am going to carefully, because this E6000 is very strong. And we're going to place that right there. And within a couple minutes, it is going to be stuck on forever. So when you place stuff down, you better make sure that's where you want it because it is not coming off. All right. Next step. So this is going to fit on like that. You don't want the flat side. You actually want it to be like this. That's how it actually fits in. Just like that. Because this side, it doesn't really... It doesn't really fit. It's not gonna stay. It's kind of like a groove here, and it just fits perfectly like that. So, we are going to again take our, let's move this out of the way. We don't need all of that. We are going to take some more E6000 on here. Up oh, there are the ambulances and the fire trucks. Perfect timing. So we're going to just put it directly on here. On the edge there. Okay. I'm going to get a little more. And just be careful not to touch it with your hands. I didn't wear gloves and just spread it out evenly. Simple as that. Move that out of the way. And now I am going to place it directly on to that bottom. And just put a little pressure. Okay. So now that is pretty much it. I'm going to let it dry. I don't want to lift it up because I don't want it to separate. And I may just add a little more glue. But that's based the basic construction of it. And then you just put your top back on. And just let it dry. Just give it a few. Let it um, just harden. And then you will get this finished beautiful resin jewelry box or trinket box from BB Craft. So these are really, really cool. They all came out really great. Uh, it's very easy. When you demold these, you're going to pour it down the center and you could actually stick like little flowers. You could stick dried flowers, glitters, whatever you want. And then when you demold it, you're going to kind of like pop it out like that. And then you can, you can actually use these, um, this for like a solid piece. If you want to make like a little um, display stand or something like that for your jewelry, that's actually cool. Uh, but basically, you just um, make two of these for the top and the bottom. And that's it. And you actually use it on this side, so you're going to pop it out. And you're going to use this side, so you'll see all like the pretty flower. Or uh, this one is a little plainer, but then you could put um, jewels in here, you could put stones, you could put glitters like I did, flowers, glass pieces, whatever you want. Uh, you don't really need a lot of um, resin for this, for the tops anyway. So that is that. It is pretty simple. And I really like these molds, they're a lot of fun to play with, and I never... Um, used uh, molds like that before so it was cool to like figure out and I had a lot of fun with it so yeah I highly recommend it so I'm gonna just quickly again you know thank you to BB craft for sponsoring another video I appreciate you guys so much um, I am gonna link their website in the description below I am also going to link their YouTube program 
uh, basically all you need is a hundred subscribers and you basically need a channel where you're going to use these items not necessarily these but they have thousands and thousands of things you can um, use in your crafting, sewing, jewelry making, obviously resin art. I've used their products for paint pouring, thousands of products. And you can just fill out a short form um, and they, you will, you know, send it to them. They'll get back to you and let you know if you're approved or not. And that's it. And you just make videos. Um, and you get these amazing products to try out on your channel and use in your personal life for your crafting, any type of art um, that you do, sewing, all that jewelry making. And they're a wonderful company. They're great to work with. And I am really fortunate and grateful to be working with them. So I will put all those links. And I will put the links to these molds also in the description below as well all right and you can and all those links by the way are affiliate links all right so I, so I love to be fully transparent and honest so the links to the products are my affiliate links and then I will link their uh, website and the YouTube program so for the exciting news I have decided that I'm going to add an extra video now I was doing like five videos a week maybe six uh, before the whole pandemic thing started and then when my family started staying home um, it was harder for me to make videos and so I slowed down but actually it was better for me because I was able I think to make better quality content and not just like boom 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 rush okay since I you know the whole quarantine and all that kind of stuff I joined a wonderful um, Facebook group, but it's a whole course through Think Media called VRA, uh, Video Ranking Academy. Hey to all my VRA fam, how you doing? I really appreciate you guys, you are awesome. And thanks to Sean uh, Cannell, rhymes with channel. Uh, he runs like Think Media channel, that's the channel. And actually I'm gonna link his channel below as well. If you wanna check out uh, for yourself, teach you a lot of great things about everything not just about YouTube about cameras all kinds of stuff uh, tech stuff and all that so they're great but through them someone else came up with the idea I think it was Tony from VRA uh, one of their team members um, but it was like a tip to do a two-minute video and I'm going to be adding to my weekly um, videos right now I'm just doing two a week I'm gonna up it to three, but I'm gonna call it uh, Two Minute Tips with Marisa. So basically it's gonna be very short videos. They're gonna be tips about, um, it'll be all art related. Okay, it'll be like money saving tips, storage, organization tips, how to save money, how to save time, tips on how to create art in a, maybe in an easier or different way. Anything to do with art related tips. So that is my announcement. I will be, um, I don't, it won't, I don't, right now I don't think I'm going to have a specific day, but I will definitely be um, upping to three times a week with uh, like, a, it's going to be like a two minute video, quick tip. So you kind of add that to your, you know, to your like knowledge bank or whatever, anything I could share with you with all my years of experience is creating art and what I have learned this past year from doing all new types of art I can just give you quick tips and tricks that are you know hopefully will add value to your own art making your crafting whatever it is I have added crafting paper crafting to my you know I'm a multidisciplinary artist now multimedia whatever you want to call it so yeah so that's my announcement and yeah I'm really excited about it. I came up with 10 ideas already so hopefully this week I will be filming my first one and it will be a surprise of what it will be about. Alrighty. So thanks guys so much for watching today. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed uh, my little quick, you know, tutorial on how to put together these um, resin art pieces. Thank you again to BBCraft for sponsoring another video. I love working with you guys. They're amazing. Don't forget all their links are below and in the description as well as my social media links are down there. Also, 
if you would like to further support my channel, I do have a PayPal so you can help me support my channel so I can make, you know, better and greater content for you guys. Um, and if anyone is ever uh, interested in buying any one of my art pieces, my email is down below as well. So thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.